Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Venom Cube by Henry Harrius. Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien. Thank you so much for watching another Magic product review. Uh, in my last video, I talked about RD Insta by Henry Harrius, and that's my first cube product I really decided that I wanted to learn and give a go. And um, I liked it a lot, and I put a routine together in my head, and I uh, decided I wanted to do a matching effect with it as well. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger on Venom Cube. And uh, in this video, I just wanted to talk to you guys about it a little bit. So um, what is Venom Cube? It's essentially a matching effect. So you can have the spectator mix up the cube and um, I'm not doing an algorithm or anything. You see I can haphazardly kind of uh, shuffle this cube up just like this, right? And it doesn't matter. They can turn this and they can turn this and one of these, right? It really doesn't truly matter. Um, but the cool thing is, is that no matter how much they shuffle it, you can actually see the cube matches. One, two, three, four, five, and six different sides all match perfectly. And the really nice thing about it is that there's, you know, there's no sleight of hand. There's no special skills that you have to have for this. In fact, I would consider this effect self-working. Uh, it is a gimmick, obviously. Uh, so what you're purchasing are two Rubik's Cubes. Both of them are gimmicked. And um, you're also going to get some extra bits as well that allow the cubes to match. Um, in this effect, there is a, I believe it's like a 45, 50 minute tutorial that walks you through step by step how to do the effect. So um, there's some things you need to know. Number one, you need to know uh, Rubik's Cube stack and full shuffles so that you can mix the cube up and um, then do a little solve at the end. And that's only if you really want to. Um, it's not necessary, you don't have to do that. Um, but it's recommended so that after uh, the cube has been solved, or excuse me, after the sides match, uh, you can solve the cube in your favorite method. So if you already know how to do that, that's perfect. If you don't already know how to do that, um, not only does Henry Harrius himself teach you a couple ways to do it, uh, but there's some special guests that come in, uh, Kira and JC, they come in and they show you guys their own ways to do that as well. So, uh, what do they teach in the tutorial? Number one, they teach you how the gimmick itself functions, but not only do they show you how it works, they actually teach you how to take the cube apart so that worst case scenario, let's just say you're performing it or a spectator is performing and they drop the cube and it shatters into 100 pieces, you know exactly how to put it back together again and fix the gimmick so that you're able to continue performing it. Um, that way, in case the worst happens, you're not you know, out of luck. You know how to handle that situation. So they teach you how to do that, number one. Number two, they teach you how to build the gimmick. So this is gonna require you putting stickers on. It's nothing complicated, but the reason that you have to sticker the cube yourself is because they don't know which stack you're gonna use. Now when I say stack, all I mean is like the specific algorithm that you're gonna to use to solve the cube. They don't know how you're gonna do that. So what they did was they show you how to sticker the cube based on the algorithm that you're planning to use for it. If you don't know any, or if you don't know any solves or have any way to solve the cube, again, Henry's gonna teach you how to do that in the Venom Cube tutorial itself. So they teach you how to sticker the cube. It took me like half an hour to do it. It's not very difficult. Uh, they give you extra stickers in case you mess up or if you decide that you want to change the, the layout later on. Uh, they give you enough stickers to be able to sticker everything plus some extras as well. So it's pretty cool. Uh, they also teach you guys a couple of different ways to solve the cube, like I said. So not only are they going to teach you um, the Venom Cube performance, which essentially is having the spectator mix up the cube and then showing all the sides match and how to perform it that way. But they actually teach you how to solve the cube uh, itself afterwards. So everything feels very fair. You don't mix the cube. The cubes don't go out of sight. None of that. The spectator mixes the cube it's themselves and then just all the sides match. And then after they've mixed the cube, you seemingly take the cube that they shuffled and just give it a wave and you can change it um, or solve it, I should say, using your favorite method. So in addition to teaching you the method itself, Henry gives a bonus example performance. So he kind of walks through like uh, how he would perform the effect, 
shows you all the beats, teaches you the misdirection so that you can do the cube switch. I'm gonna call it a cube switch. Uh, nothing goes out of view. Everything is in plain view the whole time. But there's a, a really clever way uh, that he makes it look as though the cube that you shuffled and handed to them is the one that he solves at the end. So it's a really cool idea, really cool effect. Um, the gimmick looks amazing. I mean, I'm looking at it right now and you really can't tell the difference. Um, when the cubes are like right next to each other and you're looking really close like this, you might see a little something. Um, but from the distance, like from where I am to the, where the camera is, if the spectator is watching, you're not going to see anything. I performed this live a couple of times already for some people, pretty much right out of the box, my wife being one of them. And she's really clever. She figures all my tricks out, believe it or not. She didn't know how this one worked. So that's a good sign. But anyways, excuse me. But anyways, so um, yeah, it's a really cool trick. And then in addition to all this, you're gonna learn uh, some bonus tricks and handlings and things taught by other people. Like I said, Akira comes on there and shows you uh, his gear solve. And then um, JC shows you a, a couple of variations on that as well, and just different ways that you could solve the cube. Henry teaches you his ways that he solves the cube. Uh, he teaches you a false shuffle so you can mix the cube um, and then go into your solve and all that stuff. So is it easy to use? It's pretty much self-working, like I said. You're gonna have to know the sequence and how to turn the cubes around and stuff, but the effect is self-working. Uh, if you want to solve the cube at the end, that will take a little bit more practice. You don't have to do it, um, but you can. Um, the effect can be performed surrounded. Um, I mean, the match for the matching sequence, they're going to be looking at it face by face, so they should probably be in front of you to see it. Um, but if they're standing to your sides, there's not really any bad angles for it. Um, they can be at your sides and the trick will still work. Um, so... It could be performed surrounded, technically, if you want to. You can make it play as big as you want. It could be a close-up effect if you want to perform it. Uh, like table hopping, for example. I mean, you're going to have to carry two cubes around, but you could do that technically if you wanted to. Um, you can perform it make, it, make it play big, like do like a parlor or even a stage situation, have a spectator come up, mix up the cube, and then a cube that's been sitting there the entire time, you can show all the sides match. So what exactly is Venom Cube and what does the package come with? Of course, you get this really nice wooden box that it comes with, or cardboard box, excuse me. A nice uh, cardboard box that it comes in. You get a bag that holds two Rubik's Cubes, like a nice little um, drawstring carry bag. Uh, you get stickers. You get the gimmick itself, uh, the, the, the matching gimmick itself. Uh, you get two Rubik's Cubes that are both gimmicked. Now, when I say gimmicked, I don't mean like... Like they're gimmicked, but they're regular Rubik's Cubes, right? So they can be shuffled, they can be handed out, the spectator can examine them. Uh, the spectator, if they know how to solve a Rubik's Cube, they can just solve it using those cubes. Um, they corner really well, meaning like uh, when you shuffle them, they don't lock up on you and stuff like that. So they're really high quality Rubik's Cubes. And the video production is amazing, and the teaching is really amazing. And like I said, if you don't know who Henry, Henry Harrius is, I really recommend you checking this out. If this is something that you enjoy, uh, Rubik's Cube Magic that is, it's a really good product. If you've never done Rubik's Cube Magic before but you wanna get into it, I recommend checking this out. I also recommend you checking out RD Insta if you haven't already seen that. Uh, in the RD Insta tutorial, he actually walks you through how to combine your Venom Cube with it uh, so you can kind of put this full routine together. Mix up the cube, snap your fingers, it instantly solves itself. Hand out the cube, let them shuffle it. Bring the cube back, show that all the sides of, the, of the, the prediction cube, they all match, and then you solve that cube as well. So you have like a nice little full routine if you wanted to do like a multi-phase thing. Otherwise, Venom Cube also plays really well on its own. If you don't want to learn any sleight of hand and you don't want to learn any solves, all you have to do is have the cube, have your Venom Cube, hand it out, let them shuffle it, show that the sides match, and you're done. And you don't have to learn a single stack you don't have to learn any sleight of hand and technically you could do that. So I give Venom Cube five star rating. It's an awesome trick. It's just super well put together. I can't really think of any downsides to it. Uh, I hope you guys uh, check it out, check out more reviews on it. And if you're not quite sure if you wanna pull the trigger on it, it does have a pretty nifty price tag. Um, I got this Rubik's Cube uh, second hand. I paid $100 for it. So not sure exactly what the retail is. I think it's going for between 150 and 165, 170, something like that. So it's got a little bit of a price tag on it, but you're getting an amazing product. And it's one that I know you will use, especially if you want to fit some Rubik's Cube, Rubik's Cube magic into your act. 
So before you go, I'm gonna go ahead and play the trailer now so you guys can check it out, see for yourself what all the fuss is about. And then um, I'll catch you guys next time with more Magic product reviews. If you like this review and you wanna see more like it, please don't be shy. Go ahead, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, leave a comment for me. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you very much. Hi, this is Henry. I've been doing Cube Magic for more than eight years. And without doubt, the matching effect is one of the strongest routines you can do with Rubik's Cubes. And as a professional magician, I've been striving to find the best version of the matching effect. What you're looking at right now is the Venom Cube. Check this out. Now, actually, I'm practicing something very strange. I'm practicing how to use my eyes to control your movement. Those of you, do you want to mix one more twist? Because one more twist, the outcome will be different. This is the one you mix. It's the one I mix. But watch this. Look. There's one side, but no, no. Two. Three. Four. Five. All six sides, perfect match. The Phantom Cube is like the dream effect in cube magic. Imagine this. Speculative freely makes us a cube and it matches the other cube instantly. There's no funny moves, no misdirections and no bad angles. Best of all, it is very easy to do. After the matching, you can then solve the mixed up cube in your favorite way. Our special design gimmick does all the work for you so you can focus more on your presentation. Venom Cube has been one of the highlights in my professional show. It's perfect for stage, color, and even close-up. Matching Cubes has never looked this good. This is the Venom Cube. <laughs>